Hi, I'm Mary Pistro of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos here and learning at the same time. In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations involving different operations. Hi, I'm Maritis Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos here and at the same time learning. In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations involving different operations. In order for you to get the correct answer in solving equations with different operations, you must follow a certain rule, which is called PEMDAS. P stands for parenthesis. Okay. Parenthesis. E for exponent. M is multiplication. D, division. A for addition. And S is subtraction. Okay. So, this is the meaning of PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. You need to follow the rules to get the correct answer. Because if you will not follow, surely you can get the wrong answer. I'll show some examples for you to understand this rule. First example. Okay, this is our first example. 5 plus 2 to the second power minus 10 times 3 equals m. To get the correct answer, we must follow this rule, PEMDAS. So, so we will perform the, the first operation in the parenthesis. Here is the parenthesis. So, we will do it first. 5 plus 2 equals 7. The exponent, we will put here, exponent 2. Minus 10 times 3 equals. Okay, we do first the parenthesis. Next, second, the exponent. 7 to the second power, meaning 7 times 7. 7 times 7 equals 49. Minus 10 times 3. Next, there are two operations left. Subtraction and multiplication. So, according to the rule, Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication. So, we will multiply first before subtracting. So, let us multiply. 10 times 3 equals 30. And now, we will do the subtraction last. So, 49 minus 30 equals... 19. The answer is 
19. If you will not follow the rule, surely your answer is not 19. And that is wrong. So for you to get the correct answer, remember the word PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. I just want to clarify that multiplication and division rank equally. So you can do the operation from left to right. You will perform first what operation comes first, whether multiplication or division, from left to right. And then, also, addition and subtraction rank equally. So, you are going to perform the operation from left to right. You must do the operation that comes first. Say, for example, subtraction comes first, you will subtract before adding. If addition comes first, before subtraction, then you are going to add before subtracting. Now, let's proceed to the second example. Okay, the second example is 60 divided by 4 times 3 plus 6 to the third power minus 100 equals n. So, there is a parenthesis, so we must perform the operation first in the parenthesis. But, as you can see, in the parenthesis, there is an exponent. 6 to the third power minus 100. In this case, we will get first the value of 6 to the third power before we will subtract. 6 to the third power meaning you multiply 6 3 times. 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 times 6, 6 times 6 equals 36 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, bring down 6, 6 carry 3, 3 times 6, 18, plus 3 is 21. So meaning, 6 to the third power equals 216 minus 100. It is group. It is inside the parenthesis. So we will do first this. Okay, we will bring down this. We will bring down this. Okay. So then this one. We get the value of 6 to the third power, which is 216. So we will subtract now. 16 divided by 4 times 3. Plus. Okay, 216 minus 100, the answer is 116. Okay, now there are three operations left. So, as you can see, division comes first before multiplication. Since division and multiplication rank equally, you are going to do the operation from left to right. Division comes first, so we will divide first. 60 divided by 4, the answer is 15. 15 times 3 plus 116. Okay, then... The operations left, multiplication and addition. We will do multiplication first. 15 times 3 equals. Okay. The answer is 45 plus 116. 
And the final answer is, you are going to add 45 plus 116. And let's get the answer. 5 plus 6 is 11. Okay, 1. Okay, 4 plus, plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then, bring down 1. So, the final answer is 161. It is easy to get the correct answer if we just follow the rule. Third example. Okay, our third example is 95 minus 40 plus 6 times 8 divided by 2. There are four operations here. And take note, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. But multiplication and division rank equal and same with subtraction and addition equal also. In this example, we will do first multiplication. Okay, let us answer. 6 times 8 equals 48 divided by 2. And then, next, we will divide. 95 minus 40 plus 48 divided by 2, the answer is 24. Okay, two operations left. Since subtraction and addition rank equal, we will do from left to right. Left to right. So, we will do this first. 95 minus 40 is 55. And then the last one is addition plus 24. So, the final answer now is when we add 55 and 24, the sum is 79. So, this is the final answer, the correct answer. Next example. This is our fourth example. 37 plus 15 minus 4 to the second power divided by 8 times 5 equals n. Let us answer. So, we will do first the exponent. Since there is an exponent, 4 to the second power. We will get the value of 4 to the second power. Okay. We will just write this minus 4 to the second power, meaning 4 times 4. 4 times 4 equals 16 divided by 8 times 5. Okay, next, do the division. 37 plus 15 minus 16 divided by 8 is 2 times 5. Next, perform multiplication. 37 plus 15 minus 2 times 5 equals 10. And then, addition and subtraction rank equal. So, we will do from left to right. So, we will add before subtracting. Add 37 plus 15. The answer is 
52 minus 10. And for the final answer, we will subtract. 52 minus 10 is 42. This is it. The final answer. Last example. This is our last example. And in this example, there is a bracket. So, again, we will do the operation first in the parentheses. Next is the numbers here in the brackets before the other numbers outside the bracket. Let us answer. 2 plus 3 to the second power. That means you multiply 3 by 3. The answer is 9. Minus 1 divided by 4. Bracket times 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Next. 2 plus. Okay, this one. 9 minus 1 equals 8 divided by 4 times 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Next. Okay. Inside the bracket, there are two operations. We will do first, of course, the division. Okay. 2 plus 8 divided by 4 equals 2 times 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Next, 4 plus 4 equals. Next, 2 plus 2 equals 4 times 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Okay, next. Multiplication, you can do the multiplication and you can do division at the same time. The last is subtraction. 4 times 5 equals 20. Minus 6 divided by 3 equals 2. The last operation is subtraction. We will just subtract. 20 minus 2, the answer is 18. So this is the final answer. So if there's a groupings used, say for example brackets and parentheses, always remember to do the operations first in the groupings. Parentheses and brackets before going to the other operations outside the grouping symbols. Always remember the PEMDAS rule because it will guide you to the correct answer. This time, to test your learnings about the PEMDAS rule, I will give a problem for you to answer. Just write your answer in the comment box below, and I will reply to your answer. This is a very easy question. Here is the problem for you to answer. 4 plus 6 times 3 minus 10 divided by 2 equals n. Just comment your answer below. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to continue learning, please subscribe in our channel and click the notification bell for you to be updated of our new videos. See you again. God bless.